Hallo, heute sind wir im Loropark. We're here at Laurel Park right in front of the Killowell Stadium. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, how do you take care of these animals? Do they have a happy life? Well, there's an easy answer to that. Yes, they have a happy life. And that's because they have a dedicated staff that takes care of their animals every single day. We have a vet staff and we have a training staff that, that spend all day making sure that we take care of the needs of the animals here. Um, we have a variety of things that we do throughout the day. We interact with them, we have all different types of sessions, we do shows with them, but we also have a medical staff that comes down and makes sure that we always are inspecting the animals and making sure that they're giving the best possible medical health. Um, so along with their medical health, we also have the, the best environment. We give them the best food, we have one of the largest environments, we have some of the cleanest water, we have a training staff that's dedicated to taking care of their uh, physical and mental needs. So these are some of the best kept animals in the world, no doubt. So when it comes to the question of their welfare, I can tell you without a doubt that these are some of the happiest animals and some of the best well taken care of animals in the world. A lot of people ask us about the activists who say that animals shouldn't be in zoological settings. And I'd like to explain a little bit about that. Um, people need to realize that activists have an agenda. Their agenda is they don't want animals in zoological settings. Well, we in the zoological world feel just the opposite. We believe that there's a purpose and a need to have animals in zoos. One, it's important for people to experience them, uh, to learn from them, and to recognize that they're able to come and see these animals in a zoological setting. A lot of people will never be able to go out into the wild or go to the ocean to see the, some of the animals that we're exhibiting here. So we want you to come and experience them and learn them. But we also want you to walk away with a lot of knowledge about these animals. Now the activists don't see a need for that. And I really disagree with that. Um, I think it's important to have animals in zoos. I think people enjoy coming to zoos and seeing animals. But the most important thing that I want people to understand too is when you leave, I not only want you to appreciate the animal, but I also want you to recognize that we want to conserve the animals in the wild too. So the ambassadors that are here in the zoos are helping the wild animals that are out there right now that are struggling. And there are a lot of struggles with animals in the wild. There's overpopulation, there's pollution, there's poaching, there's all sorts of reasons why we need to be aware of what's happening in the wild. And the only way you're going to be able to appreciate that is if you come to a place like Laurel Park and you experience these wonderful animals and you learn to appreciate them and then you're willing to help. One of the examples of taking what we've learned here in the zoological world and how it's helping wild population is Morgan, the killer whale that lives here. Morgan was a beached animal off Holland. Um, she was beached as a young animal. She was brought in to a, a, a zoological setting, uh, eventually brought here to Laurel Park. With the expertise and knowledge we have here, we've been able to, uh, uh, to take care of Morgan and more importantly, she is thriving in this environment. She's a very special animal. She's deaf. 
and I don't, I don't think, and scientists don't think, that a deaf animal would have survived in the wild. But, but because she's here at Lowell Park and she's working with all these incredible experts, medical uh, doctors, veterinarians, and behaviorists, we're able to compensate for her or her lack of hearing. We actually have a very special training program here that we put into place where instead of her being able to hear the acoustic cues that we give the other animals, we give her visual cues, we give her lights. Uh, so we've been able to adapt our knowledge of what we know about kill OLs and we've been able to apply them to Morgan and because of that Morgan instead of dying as a beached animal has come to Laurel Park and now is thriving in this social group here with all the rest of the kill OLs. Wenn ihr jetzt noch Fragen habt, schreibt sie in die Kommentare. Und wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, dann würde ich mich über ein Like sehr freuen. Damit ihr kein Video mehr verpasst, könnt ihr unseren Kanal kostenlos abonnieren.